It's a, you can still see the tire tracks here where the cattle rustler pulled up to this entrance. Oh, 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 oh my God. What's coming up next? At 7.40, we are talking with, this, with singer Meatloaf about his new album. You <laughs> <laughs> have a picture of Meatloaf. Okay, you know what cheer? Yeah, we yeah. cheer okay. in my britches. Okay, let's do it. One, two, a one, two, three. I got to see it in my britches yesterday. Yeehaw! I got to see it in my britches yesterday. Really, really, you I got to see it in my britches yesterday. Yeehaw! I was wondering what was in your britches. All this time, it was spirit. Okay, that's what I'll tell my wife next time when she complains. All right, thank you. Uh, after the Mexican. Yeah. I am Vartan Asnayam and I got swag. What's Where are you name? from? Where are you from? I'm from Hollywood, California, Yerevan. And why'd you, why'd you leave, leave cops on this chase? Because I got swag. I wanted to make it look good. Are you on drugs or alcohol? No, sir. Do you take drugs or alcohol? What is drugs? You want to be careful driving through that much water. And you know what? You got to thank Dan Elliott for you being there. He's the one that noticed <laughs> that this morning. So if you get mailed and come back all wet. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to swag. Don't hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to talk sports. <laughs> Joe Kim Noah coming up huge in the final four minutes of this game. Offensive rebounding also key for the Bulls. They had 20 boards. I said, I got to get to him before he get to me. I opened this door like this and I he was back of that door bar. I pushed that door. He stopped that door and he came out. He was pushing me. He got away. He got to run. And when I got right here, I got him a whack in the neck. And he ran and he jumped that fence. But I got him with this here. I got him in the neck. Take a look at the forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures will be into the 70s, not 775 degrees. That's a really hot day. Tomorrow, I don't know if we're hitting that two degree guarantee. Yeah, you can see that thin overcast trying to. Whoa! Shelly Mills looking good out there at Arcadia Lake. Where's Shelly? What happened to her? There's, look at her run. You can't run. <laughs> and this is why meteorologists don't wear green. It's why we're not allowed. It's the one color that we can't wear. Oh, there we go. See. Do it now, again. If I were to walk in behind again. you, what would happen? No, you got to walk in front. Is it front? <laughs> A little two step? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I have to put on. That is huh. exactly the same color. That's, That's crazy. Now we're just two stepping. Notamos que las condiciones están fluctuando entre los 80 hasta los 90 grados. Es, eh, parece que tenemos un problema, me imagino con las luces, pero no se preocupen. Seguimos con el tiempo. Las temperaturas para hoy van a ser aproximadamente de, de 100, de 100. Olha aquí, no buraco, olha a cantidad de abelhas. Ay, ay, estoy siendo ferroada. Y eso ya aconteceu con varias Várias pessoas, inclusive, que passaram por aqui. Olha, a situação realmente está tá complicada. Já ligaram para o Corpo de Bombeiros, já ligaram para a Secretaria de Meio Ambiente, mas até agora nada foi feito. Gente, dói demais.
Well, Joe and Sandra, this is the only way Eric and his friends can get across the street from his home because, as you can see, Church Street is a bit overwhelmed this evening. Every time it rains hard, it floods hard. We can't forget first birthdays. Let's pass some greetings along. Happy first birthday, Jad Fatet of Johnston. Happy first birthday, Dawn Keebells of Cranston. La brisa continúa en estos momentos del noroeste entre 7 y 12 millas por hora. En general debe continuar así en las próximas horas, horario de la madrugada. Eh, temperaturas actuales en 63 Homestead, 62 Ayalía, 65 Miami. Gran parte de nuestra zona con temperaturas algo frías a esta hora, pero los termómetros van a continuar descendiendo y al amanecer. Let's see, we have temperatures. In Baltimore, 70 <laughs> degrees. Stevensville, 64 degrees. Western Maryland, Cumberland, again, 64 degrees. You get pretty good, Batman. How warm is it going to get today? Any idea? Temperatures should rise to about 73, maybe 74. Coming up in weather, more sunshine and warm temperatures tomorrow. We'll have details on that and some rain chances as we move to midweek. That coming up in your forecast in just a few minutes. Brian, thank you. As I sit down now, more violence on the streets of Davenport. I'm chatting too. We'll try to answer your questions. Uh... Eyewitness News reporter Pooja Lodia is live at Memorial Hermann Hospital where the boy is being treated tonight. She has more details. Pooja. I don't even know what she's saying. I couldn't be more blessed. Uh, just a little uh, uh, fight going on in the background. I apologize for that. Time for a pie in the face. We'll have a live report next. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can receive some employment assistance where they'll be getting some resume and application help. The production plant will be shut down in phases. Mega Millions, here we go. This is it. I can't see it. Does cool. this come and then weather comes up? Yeah. 360. Those are commercials afterwards. Three. Do you know your numbers? Oh, there they are. Is that 19? a two? 19? No way. 44. Talk to me. 44? Oh, you got a 34. 44. You have a 34. You have a 34. Oh, 34. Right, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Nine? There's a 51. I'm not what making this up. 24! This is shocking. Oh, this my is... God. Wait, what just happened? Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. What just happened here? <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't. Did that... Wait a minute. Was that? What? Oh, what just happened? Is that a I have no idea. We can't do the news. <laughs> we can't do this right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> what just happened? Have him, have, him, have him say him. Have him say him. What are the numbers? Do you remember them? He doesn't remember them. <laughs> you may. Ten seconds. Right, Can you do the weather? Let's pull in another thing. <laughs> Now for an update on the conditions around the Fayetteville area and Springdale, we go to Gary James. He's outside the Channel 29 studios with the latest. Gary? Can we go to Rogers now? I think, that, I think now we're, we're going to go to Rogers first. Melissa Moon is outside the studios up in Rogers. Here now Melissa joins us with the latest up in Rogers. Melissa? Bit of problems right now. Let's uh, go now. We'll be back right after this message. Stay with us. It's so it's falling. What's going on? Can I ask y'all what y'all favoring for now? Yeah, we're we're just going to ask Miss Singleton why she's still operating since she's accused of many felonies. We gonna do taxes until they say we can't. I know. I told them. I'll tell you what. We'll do what we want to do. Hey, well, we gonna do what we do. We don't give a.
to get from over here then. Stop. Exactly. Now, get on out of here. You don't scare me. As for the police, they say they have detained five of the Greenpeace activists. In a criminal complaint, Brayton commented that he had made a mistake and thought it was best to own up to it. He says he has nobody to blame but himself. And he didn't want to see the sheriff's department's name get dragged into something that they had nothing to do with. Different atmosphere here in this pub now than there was when we got here at 8 o'clock this morning. Now, it's a different crowd that are here now. It's starting to fill up with football fans. But when we got here this morning, it was full of Andy Murray fans, hoping beyond hope that this, his third Grand Slam final, would be third time lucky for him. But it just wasn't to be. And local people here are very disappointed, but also extremely proud of Andy Murray. And they say, remember, well, he didn't win. Well, he made it to the final, and he made it to the final. Final. This time last year, the same the Australian Open final where we were all here then and we'd all had our fingers crossed for a different outcome this time. Now we've been told not to lose heart at all. Some of the greatest tennis players of our time, amongst them Andre Agassi, didn't win his first few shots at a Grand Slam. It happened for him later in the day. Also, the reason why the latest royal visit was extra special for the Duke, Duke <laughs> and Duchess of Cambridge.